Hey, it's Steve. In this video, I'll show you an animation I made of Jupiter this past weekend on July 18th and 19th, taking a series of 16 images of Jupiter to make the animation you see here. So the setup I used to make this animation is an 8-inch Celestron SCT, the Edge HD version, on the Evolution mount, which you can see here. Uh, and then for the camera, I use the ASI 224MC, and that was attached to a 12-inch MacBook using a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And I captured the imagery using the ASI uh, Studio software with the ASI Capture uh, version of that. Uh, in the settings I used uh, for Jupiter, I did a 10 millisecond exposure uh, and a gain of 380. And then I did about one minute and 45 seconds of video per image. And then each of the images are three minutes apart. Here's a closer up look at the camera set up here. I'm using the Bader uh, flip diagonal, which I like a lot because it does make things a lot easier for, you know, finding your, your object. So I have this set up with a Teleview 19 millimeter panoptic eyepiece right now, but you can use whatever you want, obviously. Now the camera itself, again, is attached to a Teleview 2.5X PowerMate, and I have a Bader UV IR cut filter in the front, which you need you need an IR cut filter with these ASI cameras, at least most of them, because I don't have that on the camera. So that will cause more blurriness because you're not going to have the IR in focus with everything else. And so that will tend to blur out your images a little bit more if you don't have that, that filter in the front. Now the Teleview PowerMate, uh, the, the eyepiece adapter does unthread from the top, and then you can screw on a T-ring adapter, which you see here in the middle, and that allows you to connect the PowerMate directly to the ASI camera. So anyway, to process this data, again, you can see here, here's what one of the segments of raw video looked like. Again, I took 16 of these over the course of about 50 minutes. And then again, everything was stacked in auto stacker. Because this thing was reasonably good, I actually stacked 80% of the frames, and I also did a 3x drizzle, so it made the image bigger. Then once the image was stacked in auto stacker, I applied wavelets and registacks. And you can see that on the top right, and that really sharpens up the image dramatically. And then I used Topaz Denoise, which is a great tool for removing noise. And it's a little bit harder to see here on the smaller images, but but it does, you know, you can clean up the noise dramatically and make the image much more smooth. And then once that was done, I did a little bit of sharpening and Pixelmator. Then I went back to Topaz Noise and removed a little bit of the noise that was created from that. Um, and so you can see here what that final image looked like. And again, I did that for all 16 images. And then for the final image, I did go ahead and rotate all of them to be with the bands horizontal on Jupiter. Obviously, you don't need to do that, but I wanted to have Jupiter horizontal when it was rotating. So I did that as well in Pixelmator. And then I took all 16 images and I created an AVI as well as a GIF animation. And so you can again see here what the final animation looked like. So anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.